Hem, hem. Ready? Whew. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> As a newlywed, one of our biggest responsibilities is to write vows that are somehow supposed to encompass everything about our past, present, and future as a couple. I can't guarantee I can do all that, but I hope that what I do have will suffice. For the last eight years together, you've taught me so much about myself, how worthy, smart, capable, and at times impatient I can be. Since that first date, when you came and picked me up, I finished your SpongeBob quotes, shared similar taste in music, our obsession with Spider-Man, and for some reason, you felt the need to tell me how people thought you were gay sometimes. <laughs> and then, I had been a little concerned because I thought you got along way more with Nigel that night than me. Where's Nigel? Where are you at, Nigel? <laughs> Good looking guy, see? <laughs> Woo, but luckily, Nigel was kind enough to share you, bringing us to where we are now. People say that they just know when they find the right person. It's like an instinct, a gut feeling, but I'm really guarded with my feelings. I'm not the first person to be vulnerable. So the moment I knew you were meant to be my person, it wasn't instinctual. It was when you would ask me to actually quote movies while we watched them instead of getting super annoyed like everyone else does. <laughs> I am so fortunate that you fit in seamlessly with my parents, my siblings, my friends, and the family we've created together with our little man Bowie waiting for us at home. <laughs> My only regret meeting you is that I didn't meet you soon enough that you could have met Tommy. I know. I know you would have loved him. And I know he would have absolutely adored you. But I do like to think you have met him because so much of him lives in the person I am standing before you. <sighs> okay, that's over. <laughs> okay. All right. I promise to always consider your needs over my own, unless it's your need to eat Waba Girl every day. <laughs> I promise to remember all of the joy you bring to my life, even when you make me late to every event we go to. <laughs> I promise to love you, even when I'm mad at you and won't say it back, just to get under your skin. But secretly, it's just to make you stay a little bit longer because I know you won't leave until I finally do say it. I promise to never forget that you are the Jack to my Rose, the Jim to my Pam, the Ben to my Leslie, and the Walter to my Jesse. Mm, maybe the Hank to my Gomi. Spending an eternity with you quoting TV shows, calling you on my way home from work, sending pictures of Bowie back and forth, drinking Starbucks cold brew, and simply being able to call you mine, an eternity will never be enough time. Anywhere you go, let me go too. Love me, that's all I ask of you. Christoph, please recite your okay. vows to offer your commitment to Taylor. Okay. Taylor, my baby, my best friend, the love of my life. Words cannot fully capture the immense feelings I have for you. You have not only shown me what true love feels like, but how incredible it can be. As I stand before you today as your husband, my heart is full with anticipation, for I've never been more ready to embark on this journey with you. Your unwavering belief in me as my biggest supporter continually inspires me to become the best version of myself. There are countless aspects I love about you, Taylor, that I deeply cherish. Your kind and gentle heart radiates grace and compassion. Your bold and witty personality keeps our lives filled with laughter and adventure. 
and her beauty still leaves me breathless at, even after eight amazing years together. Also, your thoughtful, thoughtfulness, intelligence, and attentiveness never cease to amaze me. I'm still shocked at your ability to recite lines from, the, uh, from Titanic, The Mask, and SpongeBob episodes perfectly every time. Your unconditional love has shaped me, has shaped the man standing in front of you today, but also ignited an everlasting sense of appreciation and thankfulness. I readily look forward to spending the rest of our lives together, always striving to make you feel as special as you make me feel. Reflecting on our journey, I recall an early moment when I knew you were the love of my life. And truthfully, I was nervous. I was hesitant to love, be vulnerable, and give myself completely to someone again. However, one night as I was driving home from work, I couldn't resist racing down Euclid, excited to see you for a couple minutes before you went to sleep because you had an early shift at Starbucks the next morning. There was an indescribable feeling, more like a jolt of happiness, excitement, and warmth all at once. The intensity of that emotion signified how much I treasured our time together. It was the same feeling I experienced after we said, I love you for the first time. In those moments, I know we were destined to be together and our road to, for our road to forever had just begun. After eight years filled with incredible moments, such as enchanting Disneyland dates, conquering against trivia rivals, uh, indulging in countless coffee trips, and our latest milestone of buying a home, it holds a special spot in my heart. I vividly remember the, I, I, okay. I vividly remember the tears flowing when we put down the deposit and we went to celebrate at our local watering hole. <laughs> Those tears were not merely about property ownership or the financial matters, <laughs> but that symbolized the start of us, of us two spending the life, our lives together. Well, three, if you include our little buddy Bowie. From significant milestone to the littlest moments like holding your hand during our favorite movies, TV shows, and whispering I love you before we drift off into a sleep, every second I spend with you is an immeasurable blessing. Okay, almost done. Go on, go on, got this. <laughs> I acknowledge that the transformation from boyfriend to husband carries great significance and not should be taken lightly. It is a great power. And with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> That's good. My responsibility to you as a husband is to constantly support, protect, and love you until we grow old. I promise to be your source of relief and comfort during challenging times. I vow to communicate honestly and openly, fostering a bond built on trust and commitment. And I promise to embody the patience you have always shown me. And together we'll face life's trials, triumphs, hand in hand, knowing you'll never have to face them alone. Today, I share with you one love, one lifetime, each day, each night, each morning, I am yours. <laughs>